Hello YouTube, my name is Hero and today we are going to be talking over the new malicious system. The malicious system has recently been added in KR in their last patch. There's pretty much a public test going on for it because it's a new system. However, uh, we do have the basics of this system. Okay, so basically once the malicious system was launched, the rules for sieges changed because militias are completely in relation to sieges. They have nothing to do with no wards, only sieges, so only on Saturdays. So sieges were changed and um, basically the defending guilds if they are able to defend for two hours then they win the siege so if someone owns the owns the territory say for example man up right now owns valencia if they were able to defend for two hours they automatically win however if for example man up were defeated during their siege on saturday then after that every other castle would have to be destroyed as usual and the last remainder remaining castle would be victorious so that not much changes there it's just the pretty much the initial part where they have two hours to defend and if they can defend successfully for two hours that it's automatically over and now we can talk about the militia system now that we've gotten that out of the way so the militia system for you guys that don't know it essentially allows players to join guilds that are either on defense or on offense during the node war or the castle sieges on um, every Saturday. So there will be 50 players drafted for each side, 100 total per territory every Saturday from 7 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. So that's pretty much the 45 minute mark, um, the hour to 45 minute mark before sieges. So 15 minutes before sieges is the last minute you can join they will be drafted on calpheon one media one and valencia one so apparently there isn't an option to be drafted on serendia or balanos so it seems that only um, areas with castles can be militia also in order to be able to participate in the militia you must be in a guild and that guild must also own a node in the territory to which you which to partake in so once again for example if you wanted to partake in the valencia siege militia you would have to be in a guild that has a node in valencia at that current week once you request to join the militia you cannot cancel your request and you cannot join the militia within a liberated liberated territory so that means if the territory last week was tied for example no one claimed it then you cannot join to the militia in that instance. The militia will fight as either an attacking or defending team for the first two hours of the conquest. The winners of the militia team will receive 20 million silver. These rewards are subject to change. And when you die in the militia, instead of being able to use guild respawn locations, you will spawn at a town or a designated spot. I'm not sure what that will be, but that's what it says here. Um, as well, once you're in a militia, you can use militia chat to communicate with other militia players. And I'm assuming guild members as well of the guild you are on, on sides with. The militia can only attack the enemy team and guild, but the guild members participating in the conquest war are able to attack the enemy guild and all militia. For example, defending militia cannot attack defending guilds, but defending guilds can attack defending militia. So be wary about that. So overall, this is a very cool system and it just, like I said, gives players a chance to taste, get a taste for sieges and not only that, come out with a few rewards, 20 million silver if you win. That's not too bad for a few hours of work, especially if you're having fun doing it. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to change sieges as far as we know them now, but it's definitely going to do something to change them. I'm just not sure how. And once again, it's a very interesting system. It's a lot of details going into it, and I'm sure they're going to test it a lot more before they reset it in a, this is what you could pretty much call it. Uh, the beta version of this or the alpha version even because this is the first time we've ever seen it however it's very interesting and i can't wait to see what it's going to bring to the game and as, as a whole and maybe it'll change everything for all we know as as conquest as we know it as it seems right now the game is more favoring uh, attacking rather than defending however they are balancing that by, by giving the defending castles an option 
to only hold for two hours and then they automatically win so it's kind of rebalanced in that way so you have to really come hard if you want to take a castle out now which is very interesting anyway it's your boy hero thank you guys for watching subscribe if you haven't already and see you guys next time peace